Hello and Hi. welcome to another week of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Shane Arnold. Hello. Third time. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> and um, we're looking at the week of October the 5th to October the 11th, which means we are in Libra, but obviously we're starting with the overall energy. And as I shuffled the cards, a card fell out, which is basically the card for the overall energy, because that's the first thing I asked for. <clears throat> For those of you who watch this regularly, you will probably recall that last week was all about trauma that happened within your family. You know, how you grew up and all that kind of stuff. And um, the last couple of weeks I, I, I felt um, were always quite demanding. Yeah. And it was really not low energy as such, but it was just a lot of stuff to work through. Yeah. So the energy for this week, overall energy for this week, is much better because we have determination. Which basically means that our job is to say, like, enough is enough. Now I'm looking forward to changing things and I'm pressuring on, I'm marching on for want of a better word, and really change something. The sound you hear in the background is the washing machine. This will get louder and then very lightly the cat will, will freak out. So it's going to be a very interesting video when it all happens. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, where was I? I was with the washing machine, wasn't I? Yes. Over energy. Over so energy. what I'm getting is for us is to not be too pushy, but to realize sometimes, and this is the feeling that, that the guides give me, in order to get out of situations, um, you can't wait for divine intervention. You need to say like, I am deserving of so much more, and I'm claiming it. So we will have to see when we come to the star signs, if that is reflected, if there is something where they get help, or if it's something that they have to work through and what they have to do. But the feeling I'm getting is it's up to each of us as individuals to say, like, now is the time to make changes. I've been through enough. Obviously, we're recording this end of September, so we know there's a bloody lockdown coming, right? Uh, between 10 and 5, 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. we can't get out. You know, because apparently that's when the coronavirus is out and about. <laughs> you know, what a load of bollocks. <laughs> right? Anyway, but we're living in these times. And so people already get anxious. You know, because people said to me like, oh, they're going to have a 200 pound fine, but they have to catch you first. <laughs> but also, you know, if everything is closed, there might not be a reason to go out between yeah. 10 and 5. So you save 200 pounds. What I'm saying is people are getting anxious and more anxious as time moves on because nobody really knows what's going to happen and sometimes we're not supposed to know and the reason why I'm saying this is because I asked my guides so many times why didn't you hint at it and I don't even get a reply um, so there are things that we just have to go through but get back to the overall energy determination is the keyword for all of us for the week of October the 5th to the 11th 2020, and now we're going straight into Libra. Mm -hmm. Right? You mean to go first? Yes, please. Okay, I've drawn to these cards today. Okay, Librans, let's have a little look. Ooh, okay. Um, Librans, this is all to do with your love life, with what's going on uh, within relationships. Um, You've got the Cupid card, which is a great card for love and relationships, and cleanse and detoxify. So the way this makes me feel is that for those of you that um, that are in a relationship, um, there's, there's, I'm being shown about more opening up, more being open within the relationship, letting the other person in, um, just enjoying the romance for, I wanted to say them for what it is. Mm -hmm. So don't always think, where it's going to go to how far it's enjoy it for what it is and see how far it's going to go and just go with it then the cleanse and detoxify this sort of aims me really it shows about somebody that that actually has closed off from that and they really do need to open up and allow people in um there's very much about being really sensitive um and shedding your old ways so this, this is very much a time to, even if you are cooped up with the other half, it's very much a time 
for romance, for being together, for enjoying that time together and not worrying about where it's going to go, how far it's going to go, um, whether it will go the whole way or not, because there's a feeling of, um, it, you know, you're very much weighing things up all the time and it's been told not to keep doing that, to enjoy what you have. And there's some awakenings coming as well with Librans mm. uh, within this as well. So, okay. Nice. So, going from Libra to Scorpio, let's see what we got <laughs> for the Scorpions. <laughs> mm. Always reminds me of Scorpions. Oh, bad boys running wild. Yeah, I love oh, them. I've not seen them. <clears throat> yeah, a different, uh, that, that's the last deck that came to me. It's a Native American uh, symbolic deck. We have Takamoi, the god of rain, and Tirava and the cosmic bison. Okay, this is just symbolism. For Scorpios this week, Determination is the overall energy, so you have to say like, okay, I'm coming out of whatever I have just gone through, right? So we're coming out of that week of, of looking at our trauma that was family related, right? That's pretty much still in the energy. And the God of Rain is basically saying to you, if there are still some tears that need to be shed, shed them. Mm -hmm. But you have the, the Cosmic Bison, the Tirava and the Cosmic Bison, which is basically... Um, a story about someone who wanted to um, explore the whole country and they gave him a bison um, but he would never share who gave him wisdom and basically it became an ego thing so they took the bison away because it was a cosmic bison and you know they just gave it to him and it was spirit and then the guy never made it back from the desert <laughs> so what that means is don't get a bison <laughs> no just messing what that means is don't, when you go forward, don't, you know, say, oh, this will work. And, um, and you know, sometimes you're, you're, because we're talking about relationship here earlier, mm -hmm. sometimes you want it to work. And so you convince yourself it is working. And with determination and Scorpios, what they're saying to you is don't create a picture that is completely unrealistic. Mm -hmm. You just say, I'm going through stuff. And because you have the cosmic bison, there might be still some losses coming, coming, but because this is a spiritual bison that was just taken away, it feels to me like that the illusion of something working uh, or, or going somewhere where it actually isn't is finally coming apart. And so you see the world for what it is. So determination means look at your life. For what it is don't read too much into it and just keep going and remember i feel that strongly for scorpio uh, this week there will still be some some um emotional turmoil and remember tears are sacred medicine you will get through this right going into sagittarius okay it's interesting how these are falling into line mm -hmm. mm. it fell out yeah Okay, and there's the assertive card, so determination. Yeah. We have a lot of yeah. overlapping energy, isn't it, cool. all the time. Love it. Okay, so um, we have assertiveness and ground yourself. So um, straight away, um, being more assertive, looking at what you want, going for what you want. Don't keep holding back in the shadows. Um, there's this, there's an, an underlying strength here that needs to come out. So. And I feel there's other things that need to come out with this. So there's very much a feeling of putting yourself forward, putting yourself at the front of the queue rather than being at the back of the queue for some reason. Um, so it's not holding back on this. And grounding yourself. But although we're saying push yourself forward, be determined, also know your limits. So don't be foolish about it. You know, there's, there's pushing yourself forward, knowing where you need to go. Um, but also keep your feet on the ground. Don't look for things that are too far out of your scope. Um, but so there's that little bit of a fine line that's going on there that, that you'll need to make. But um, I, I just feel, again, a balance. Look at the balance, look at your life, look at what you want coming in and make those steps to go forward with it. But yeah, not bad cards. Okay, yeah. it was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Let's see what we got for Capricorns. <clears throat> okay. Quite emotional energy, but 
high energy. So what you have is basically playfulness and forgiveness. So we're coming out of this darker energy, this, this, this more draining energy, right? Finally. <laughs> right? And what they're saying is um, be lighthearted. Um, remember your inner child, reconnect, be playful. Really important, be lighthearted, have some faith, have trust that things will work mm -hmm. and you have forgiveness next, which means as you are growing and you're not quite as down because you're saying like, no, I can do this and I'm going to find a way and you know, and they're doing this, <laughs> which means, yeah, you, you know, wiggle about, but it means like, you know, be flexible, uh, come back to life. And forgiveness means that whatever comes up in your mind, in your memory, or in your life that isn't working, this is the week to playfully let it go. No arguments, no friction, just... Sometimes you just have to be done, if that makes sense. Mm. And I'm not saying this, this will be for all Capricorns, right? So don't blame me for all your divorces. <laughs> right? But what I'm getting strongly is that things very likely for some of you will come to an end because they have to. And if you say it had to happen eventually, and eventually is now, you're, you're, you're better equipped in dealing with it than going into saying like, oh my God, wasn't expecting this because truly you are and you can already expect um, the changes because they are already in the energy. Right? So this is not going to hit you overnight kind of thing. This is all stuff that you are aware about. Okay? But be playful. This is your biggest strength in the week of the 5th of October to the 11th. Be playful. Be lighthearted. And have some fun. Right? That was that. Now going into Aquarius. Aquarius. I can't really pronounce that. Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarian. Uh, Aquarians. I say tomato. You say tomato. <laughs> I say potato. <laughs> Okay, Aquarians, so we have energy work and ask. Um, what I feel is, is going on with Aquarians at the moment, um, oh, it, it feels like when I went into that energy, it really took me down, it really feels heavy, it really feels low at the moment, um, not as positive a, a, as we'd like it to be. It, it, I feel quite depleted, I feel quite drained, I feel like here we go again. So whether this situation's going on in your life or whether it's a situation with you uh, that's going on in your life, it's like repetitive, um, we're going on, we're going round again. So um, don't let it drain you, don't let it pull you down because it won't last. It's whatever it is, it's going to be short lived. Um, there's healing around you, there's healing being sent to you Aquarians as well because you really do need it at the moment. Um, the ask card that comes next to it, it is very much about if you need help, ask for help. Don't be stubborn because Aquarians are very stubborn. Um, you know, if you need people to help in situations, you need your partner to help, you need your family to help to get you through this short period of time. Just ask for that help and, and you will definitely get it. It's just that people don't know what's going on with you because you don't let them in very easily. And similarly with, with spirit, with your guides. You know, if, if there's help that they can give you, put, put it out there, ask them, and the help will be brought forward. But don't, it's like, don't sit and suffer in silence. Um, I know that it sounds quite a bad time, but it isn't, and it will be short-lived. But just ask for that help and it will come. Okay, there was a glorious going into Pisces, our mm -hmm. star sign. Let's have a look. Your turn this time. Yep. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yay, it's not bad. We have curiosity and fun. What that means for us, uh, uh, Pisces, Pisces, bloody hell, for, for us <laughs> fish heads. <laughs> right? species. Remember the overall energy is determination, right? So you make things work, we make things work. And we are thriving um, and saying like, yeah, changes are an opportunity, not so much a burden. And so curiosity means like, let's just see what happens. Let's go for it. And again, there's fun here. So the best way to describe it emotionally or energetically for us Pisces, Pisceans, 
<laughs> just does my head in. It's, you know, stay curious. Like, yeah, I wonder what, that's the, what that does. I wonder what that will bring. Go for it, but have fun with it. Don't be too worried. The thing that I always get, and this is actually not necessarily very Piscean, <laughs> where, where we have times where we overthink, but most of the time we're, we're not really. You know, we, we have times where we just kick ass. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. and and then there are weeks where we sort of procrastinate, yeah. um, completely <laughs> silly. But that's that's Pisces for you. Mm-hmm. And all the guides are saying is not this week. This week, just go for it. Be curious about what life can offer and what life has has for you. Hi, Fidget. And um, enjoy and have some have some fun with it. That was Pisces going into Aries. You all right, Fidget boy? It's a good week for us, huh? Yes. Okay, so for Aries we have daydream and energy work. Alright, so daydream, this is this is all about um, it is about putting your dreams out there of what you want, but also it's about relaxing, just um, thinking more about what you want, thinking how you're going to get forward. Um, Aries, you can you, very much your your feet go first and your head follows. Um, sometimes you need to actually step back a little bit and think about where you're going, think about where you're heading, think about what you want um, in your life. That, that gives you that time to be creative rather than feet first and then think, oh, I've got it, now I don't know what I'm doing with it, I don't know where I'm going. So just put those thoughts in there first, think about it a little bit more first. And the energy card for you in this is, is very different to the Aquarians. This is because um, you are full of energy. Sometimes you have too much energy, you don't know what to do with this energy. So it's all about uh, creating, thinking about where you're going to go, directing your thoughts. I don't need to tell you about determination because you are very determined um, with whatever you want to do anyway. Um, but there's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of energy about feelings that's coming into this as well. So um, whatever it is that you're thinking about and you want to go forward with, just um, think a little bit about um, feelings within this as well. I don't know why I've got to say that, but it will make sense to you. Um, it just, just very much, your energy is there. Go for it, um, as I'm sure you will do. Uh, but just be aware of feelings. Okay. Okay, there was Aries going into Taurus. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, my father is Taurus and my sister is Taurus. I love them dearly, but they are the most stubborn people I've ever met. They can be their own worst enemy. And when they're down, they stay down in the sense that everything is shit. (laughs) So this is just the energy I grew up with, right? Because it's obviously my my dad and my sister. And I know uh, a couple of other Tauruses. They're actually nice people. But there is this element to Taurus of when things go wrong, you stay in that energy for longer. And what you have this week is just that frustration. So the week 5th of October to the 11th of October, we're coming out of dealing with family trauma, right? Remember, sometimes it makes back if you haven't watched it, you know, we, we, there, there's videos before this week, if that makes sense. And if you want to have a look at what's going on, um, you know, utilize them. But here's the thing about Taurus, you have frustration pretty much on the, um, on the onset of the week. And um, what the guides are saying is it will inform the energy of your week unless you ask for help. You have teamwork here. And um, so what they're saying is you go stuff alone, you don't share another trait that, ta- that ta- Taurus historians have <laughs> right <laughs> is is to not share and what the guides are saying is this is too weak to say like okay i'm struggling i need help and say it in the taurus voice i need help <laughs> which means you can be quite um demanding and people will respond so be forceful get the help because people are willing to give the help you just have to say it so 
To cut a long story short, do not give in to your frustration. Don't go things alone. Certainly don't. Very uh, great topic for, for, for the time. Don't lock down. Mm, yeah. <laughs> don't, right? <coughs> On top of the lockdown we're having. So it's important for you to realize that sometimes Torians can go inside and stay there. And what the guides are saying is that's where growth is difficult because you just don't have the energy. So frustration is there at the beginning of the week already. And now it's time to share and probably bounce off of someone and get some insight that someone else might have, some, some ideas, and then again be determined to, to make changes, right? Mm. That was Taurus going into Gemini. And after Gemini comes Cancer. And I am have decided that I'm, I'm still letting go of my past and my um, the, the, the lady I was with was Cancerians. And I don't want to think about her, so I'm not reading Cancer. So you can do two, two star signs now. Gemini and Cancer. Here we oh, go with okay. Gemini. <laughs> you could, we could have swapped, but I've done the cards. Yeah, no, too late. <laughs> okay. Unless you want to read these. Yeah, why yeah. not? It's, it's just fair, isn't it? Go. Nothing personal with you Cancerians. Also, has got nothing to do with the woman I'm referring to, right? What it has to do for me, <laughs> I, need this, I need this cut. And so every time I go back into memories, my brain goes like, oh yeah, I remember that. And, and so for my own protection and my own growth, I just don't want to get involved in the energy that the guides would give me. Right? So here we go with, with Gemini. You have what do you desire and time to go. So the determination is the overall energy. I always say it to people. A lot of people say to me like, I'm glad you put in the star sign so I can skip. <laughs> and I get that because the videos are quite long since we have so many star signs and the guides have a lot to say. But skipping the overall energy, skipping the beginning of the video, is silly because the overall energy is what informs everything else. Yeah. So that's why I keep reminding people of the energy that is there, uh, because I, I know, from what I've been told, a lot of people skip. There are people who watch the whole things, bless them, <laughs> right? but a lot of people yeah. just skip to their star sign Word of advice, always wait for the overall energy before you then look at your star sign, right? So, this is determination, is, is going. And what you need to ask yourself is, where am I going? Or rather, where do I want to go, right? What do I, what do I really want? It's difficult when you have the, the word desire here in the card. What do you desire? Because when it comes to what we really want, we sometimes overshoot, mm -hmm. right? So, if you have a goal that will take a long time to achieve, um, you will probably be disheartened because it is a journey, as everybody, every, everything is. So what they're saying is think about what, the, what it is that would allow you to have a better life, better quality of life, and maybe more happiness right now. Stay in the now. It's so important. It's the only time we really have. Nothing wrong with making plans, right? But this week for, for Gemini, stay in the now, what do you want to happen right now? And then time to go. Which means this utilize the determination that is in the energy and say, like, I'm gonna do this now. So what the guides are giving me is just a scenario where people were saying, like, I always wanted to do this, and now you know some of us are maybe 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 on furlough, and the course that they always wanted to do, they can do now, right? Online. If you can't go somewhere. So this is what I'm getting is for people who kind of think like I wanted to always experience this, now is the time to do it. And also the world isn't locked down. You know, you can still do things during the day. It is what, you know, you have to always make the best, all of us, of what we've been dealt with, if that makes sense. And frustration just doesn't help. So what they're saying is, think about what it is you want right now, what would allow you to have a better life right now, and then go for it, right? So that's basically that for Gemini, now going into Cancerians. Have a look. Oh. <laughs> Overlapping energy is right there. There you go. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we have daydream and we have change in direction. So um, daydream, uh, I, I read it two, two, 
two spell signs ago. Something mm-hmm. like yeah. that. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, so um, it was for Aries. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, it just told me. So it's very much about thinking of what it is that you want. Um, with the Aryans, um, it was very much think it through before you uh, go ahead with your plans because of uh, the way the Aryan star, star sign is. And I have to say that um, Cancerians can be a little bit like that as well. They don't think things through properly. They just move forward and then pick up the pieces afterwards is what I'm getting here. And this is very much, um, again, really think about where you're going, where you're heading, plan it don't uh, put feet forward very very similar to to the Aries sign um, because um, there's a feeling here also I, I keep getting the word regret with this as well so I know that there's regrets um, that's going on with this card so don't keep making the same mistakes don't keep having regrets think about where you're going and what you're doing before you take a step forward and the changing direction card here, this is all about new beginnings. Um, it's got the, the stalk and the baby. So um, it can literally be for some that will have new babies, obviously. Um, but it's very much the overall pattern on this is um, it is new beginnings, new guidance, new futures, new directions, um, new paths and new outcomes. So these two cards together really are saying to me that uh, Cancerians... You really need to think about your future, plan where you're going, um, you know, don't don't keep diving forward now. Really think about it, put some uh, fresh new ideas in there. Don't keep going round and round on this. And some beautiful new beginnings and directions are here for you if you do do that. Um, so you will create what you sow. Is, is the sentence I've just mm-hmm. been given. Yeah. So um, really think about it and really know where you're going to go with this. And the third card, I'm, I, I do have to give a note on it, was notice the signs, okay? So um, this, it's normally my spiritual card, but within this reading, it is just saying to me now, um, you know what you need to be doing, you know where you need to be heading now, and you are going to be directed in certain directions. So just, just look for signs, either through what people say or through signs that you'll see around you as to which way to go. Okay. All right, that was Cancerians going into Leo, second last star sign of uh, this week. Um, so there's only Leo and Virgo to come. Here is Leo. Three cards as well. Oh. <laughs> it feels like the guy just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, they have more to say. Work, work yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, for Leos, what they're saying is, you have, i just tell you what you got and then I'll explain this to you. You have contentment, patience and eagerness. So what they're saying is, some of you might feel you're in a bit of a slumber. You're in a bit of a, sort of even, even in a haze. And what the guides are saying is, it's not a bad thing to be content with what's going on. Um, because you have patience. So obviously patience means that things are not quite ready for you yet and things will come Um, and therefore it is important to be happy with what you got but because you have eagerness here waiting for things to happen and be calm about it is not a bad thing Mm. but waiting until this is all somehow shifting is not the energy of the week because we have determination as the overall energy and you have eagerness which could just be another word for determination you're right boy so the idea is is to say like okay i know things are not ready yet but i still put my feelers out and see what's going on because when you actually use your energy and send it somewhere else it can manifest quicker, right? So short and sweet for Leos, and now we're going into the last star sign of the week, um, Virgo, and we're looking at the week of October the 5th to the 11th, 2020. Go on, Okay, so um, Virgos, you have what do you desire and listen. Um, so the what do you desire card, is um, it's already been out before but it is very much about choices decisions um, opportunities so you now have the opportunity to 
to get what you desire. I feel it's a real probability that whatever it is that you Virgos want, you will get. So, um, it, and I keep being drawn to the heart's desire on the card as well. So this I feel is referring to um, relationships. And this can be personal relationships, but also extended family and friend relationships as well. So once you clearly think about what it is that you want, um, be positive, put it out there, because there is the opportunity that, that you will get it. So that's a nice card for you. And the card next to it, listen, um, this is about uh, quieting your mind and being reassured that things are going in the way that they're meant to go. Um, I wouldn't say that Virgos are, are warriors, but there is a little bit of um, a feeling here that um, some of you have been worrying about things, worrying about how things are going to go, the way things are going to go. So there's a reassurance here that um, try not to keep worrying, listen, watch, see how things go with the future, but um, just try and stay in that calm, quiet place and let things let things work out the way they're meant to instead of trying to force some things the way they're meant to. So actually these two cards together about what it is that you want and putting it out there and then letting, letting it come to you and letting it happen um, it is quite reassuring that you will be okay and it will manifest. So that's a good card. Okay. Yeah. I have to get up now, Fidget, to, <laughs> to, to turn off the, the video. Right. So that's all we have time for. Um, see you all next week. Jane, thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoyed it. Good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.